Bonsoir. Euh, Excusez-moi, je parle français un petit peu. Mon français n'est pas très bien, so maintenant on change un petit peu pour l'anglais. Désolé. Uh, my name is Omar Brahim and uh, I am Syrian. Today, my experience that I would like to share with you is the experience of a Syrian artist and a man who has lived in exile um, as many of my compatriots. This experience had its pros and cons, which makes me wonder a lot about what I produce and why I do. I mean producing art for sure. I believe that politics had, has defined our lives and nostalgia has defined the way I work, which leads me to return to the elements of the memory all the time and look forward to the future through them. In this way, through what I create, I can look deeper at my memories, my home, and my country. My work has become the action of curing the pain inside me, which has grown in recent years in parallel with the human pain experienced by my people for almost nine years now in Syria, who are fighting for their dreams and their right of freedom and democracy. For me today, working on cultural and creativity is an act of life and resistance <coughs> Sorry. It's an act of life and resistance. To me, it's looked like the most profound influence on our desire to survive after everything we have seen and went through. When each one of us, as a refugees, take a, de a deep breath, it's normal that we feel debilitated after a long time of challenging ourselves day by day. However, we learned well how to stand again after many times we fell, as well as we learned well how to win after many times we were defeated, especially that we have to resist each single day in exile for the free part of our souls that it's left, and to be faithful to our idea of making the world a home for everybody, not just for a minority of people who own everything. For me, art was this deep breath. That made me feel debilitated, but at the same time, it's made me feel free. I strongly believe that art is the result of the constant need to be a life maker in the face of the makers of death. I remember well that, um, that since I was young, I was drawing and making sculpture from the clay of my garden. It was always my way to give shapes to my dreams too. In time of the war, I paint, as well as in the time of the peace before. When the bomb fell in the center of Damascus and, in, and at the exchange of fire, uh, that spread random death, I was drawing. When I was arrested twice in Lebanon, while I was doing my job in the humanitarian field, I asked the soldier who took me to the prison to give me a pencil to draw. When I was asked why I was going to France from my friend Agat in Lebanon, I told her honestly the only answer that I really know and I am sure about it, I go to Paris to paint. So far, I don't need any more convincing reasons to know my purpose in life more than to continue painting, wherever I will be. In the time, I share with you these words. There are Syrian artists who cannot go tonight, maybe, to visit their families because of the checkpoints, or spend the time with some friends. I know very well, and I know them very well, that in this moment, they will be sitting behind their canvas and working to make their experience, um, sorry, to transform their experience, to fill the time with meaning and to give the history their voice and to create a future for their family, friends, and country. 
They live the coldness of their inner exile in their own country as we live our own outside of our country. One thing in common between both of us is that we are all feeding the hope and work for the future for all of us. <clears throat> Some beautiful outcome that I am proud of this last five years in Paris and in France in general were the it was the beautiful people I met who did not spare their effort to support and to be in solidarity with me to make my achievements reality. I may not be able to meet everyone's rights, but I would like to mention the team of Theatre Girard Philippe in Saint-Denis, who gave me the first I came to France, eight months of a free atelier to work and to continue my artistic experience. Atelier des Artistes en Exil, where I spent the last two years working, producing art, showing, and meeting a lot of amazing artists from all around the world. We are sharing all our experience, our talk, and the most important, the sense of the family that we need it all. I would like to thank either Sciences Po School in Paris and Drans, which allowed me to share my artistic experience with our student there. And my new home at Paye Pasque, School of Pozar of Biarritz and Payon, where for the first time after five years, uh, sometimes living even in the street, if you want, without a house, now I feel the first time of stability and the feeling of the home after this long time. Today I'm thinking of the capacity of glowing and beauty for simple and humble people who have abnormal beauty, something you can see it's similar and reflected the same in one of the demonstrations in the street of Syria with all of these natural songs, Egypt and Yemen today. The drawing of a graffiti in one of the superb of Paris, or even in a simple conversation with my students. The ability to be children, sorry, the ability to be children who are able to believe and trust life and nature and to see things other than what politics and media impose on us. The voice of these humble people is what gave me my voice today to tell you that it's the great honor for me to be a Syrian artist living and work in Europe along with all the simple and honorable people who are still able to find their voice for a more justice and peaceful life and give me my personal voice too. Thank you very much.